Hello, 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 my people. How you guys doing? Like, how you doing? Just tell me how you doing. You can type on the comment section. Tell me how you feel today. Tell me what's popping. How is the day going? I believe you're having a nice day. If you're not having a nice day, tell me so that we will know how to cheer you up and, you know, make you happy. So, today I'll be doing a vlog, you know, on... Just like something more personal. Should I call it personal? Yeah, just random stuff actually. So um, I'm talking about living. Sorry. I'm talking about live. Okay, I'll be talking about living in a shared accommodation as a student in Russia. So, you know, uh, I'm a student in Russia at Florida State University and uh, I basically stay in the school hostel, like school accommodation. And, uh, you know, I'm not staying alone. I have, I was supposed to have two roommates actually, but I basically have one roommate because one of my roommates like he changed apart sorry he changed hostel to a different hostel because his faculty is kind of far from the hostel so he had to change to to a hostel that is close to his faculty so right now i have just a roommate and he's from Turkmenistan or he's from Turkmenistan so what does it look like like you know um what does it look like like stay with this guy like who is it like is it fun? You no, know, me right from Nigeria. I but I was in uni, like I wasn't staying with anybody. I was just living all alone. I stayed off campus, so I go to school for my lodge outside the campus. And there, by lodge, I stayed alone. I wasn't staying with anybody. So, and basically, I've never like you know lived together with with people in in hostel, like have a roommate and you know. That kind of stuff so basically i've been staying alone even when i came to russia like my first year in russia i i had like um two chinese roommates actually two chinese roommates men stay with those guys oh my god like i wouldn't want to stay with with like i wouldn't want to live with a chinese roommate anymore like i wouldn't want to man like there are so many things about these guys i don't like like if you're staying with a chinese roommate man it's it's actually it's actually <laughs> to me it wasn't cool because number one these guys were dirty like they were literally dirty god like the way they 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 do they do the rooms and the room and some so they will be cutting their fingernails and they'll just cut it on the ground they without even sweeping it they'll leave it there like that most times i'm doing that you know sweep the room and clean everywhere up and you know, sometimes like there is one guy. The guy is funny. He would just like buy a, like a, a bottle of water, and after drinking the water, instead of disposing the can, you would just leave the can there in the room. You would go and buy another one, finish the water, leave the can. Like you would just like pack a can in the room. Like the room would be full of can. If you come to my room, you feel like ah, uh -uh guy, are you people selling water can in your room? Like it's usually so annoying. You get, and he will cut his finger. You just leave it there without caring to sweep and stuff like that and the worst part there's this game we usually play this computer guy I don't know whether it's um, Call of Duty or something and this guy will be making noise at the top of his voice and we speaking this language I'll be like what is this guy talking? what is he saying? he'll be speaking this language and be pressing the game and be like sometimes we just be doing something we just hear him shout I'll be like what is happening? without doing that it is the game is playing that is making him to shout like that like god and the worst part he doesn't speak English he doesn't understand me, so we, we basically don't communicate at all. So I'm just at my corner doing my thing, he's at his corner doing his thing, so we don't communicate. And then the other person, the other Chinese guy, that one speaks English a little, like a very, very little. So, like, he's one I communicate with, and we are both in the same class. He's one I, I communicate with. So, sometimes if that one is making me, I'll tell him that. Can you tell your friend to reduce his voice? Like, he's shouting. So, and on that thing again, they are, they are cooking. Hey! You see, you don't want to be where a Chinese is cooking. You don't want to. 
for real like you don't want to be where a chinese is cooking because what their food like what the smell the smell of their food is god is 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 it's it's it freaks me out actually like most times they are if they are cooking their food i really like cover my nose or put on a face mask because the smell is horrible i'm sorry with new respect i'm sorry to say this but the smell is horrible like man i couldn't even like 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 bring myself to taste the food they are cooking i can't like it was so bad and you know the god like if i start thinking about it it's it's usually it's it makes me feel so high actually like so so the kind of food they cook oh my god like i can't even imagine like sometimes they offer to like i should come and taste after they have thank you very much i'm not taking <laughs> because man sometimes like even you know the chinese like they like deep frying they like frying their food like they just like bring rice and stuff like that and fry it and no man it's it's very really good so and so along the way Shah, they had to change room then left the, the hostel and went to apartment man when they left for apartment i was happy that was the happiest moment of my life like i was so excited i had the room all to myself so i was just like back to my staying alone lifestyle so all through my first year in russia i stayed i stayed alone in my room i was just the room was just mine so i was i was free to do whatever i want to do like live however i want to live so it was actually nice when they left so then the next year when i entered my first year actually then i was supposed to change room actually but um due to the limited space in the hostel i had to remain in the room then um, i was staying alone quite all right i was still staying alone quite all right then the commandant now went and brought in like these two guys from Turkmenistan. Then I was like, God, this is back to having a roommate again. So the first day they came, like they were like, oh, this room, let's let's clean up the room, let's you know, let's wash the room, let's clean up, clean up, clean up. I was like, the room is not bad, like it's not so bad. Why 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 they clean up? I was like, okay, let's clean up. So that first day we cleaned the room, like swept, wash like did a whole lot of cleaning, we arranged the room and stuff like that. We all chose the part of the bed we want to stay. So me, I was like, wow, these guys are nice. I was like, okay, so they are neat. I don't need to bother about sweeping the room alone every time I clean the room every time alone. So I was like, okay, so they would help with that. Man, guess what? That day was the only, the first and last day these guys actually cleaned this room. <laughs> It was the first and last, the only day they cleaned the room. Like after that, whether the room is dirty or not, they don't care. Whether it's neat or not, they don't care. So I went back to being the only one that does the cleaning and stuff like that. So now, and the other, one of my roommates, that one was so troublesome. Like it was very, very troublesome. Like I have my, my own side of the bed. I have my table. Sometimes I finish eating, I just like place my my plates on my table just you know to rest before taking the plate out. The guy will come and meet me and say, I should remove my plate on my table. I was like, excuse me, like I should remove the plate from my table and take it out. I was like, this is my table, it's not your table, it's my table. I can do whatever I want to do on my table. You have your space, I have my space. So why should you dictate to me how or where or when or to like to use my table like who does that so the guy it was so tr- sometimes i'll be making a call i'll be make, making a call the guy will be asking me to keep quiet <laughs> man like at a point i got so pissed off i was like <laughs> i could literally fight this guy like i'm making a call tell me is it count ticker keep quiet i was like what the hell is that so i can't make call again i can't like talk again in my room like who does that i was like remember that i'm the landlord of, of this room as far as this room is concerned i'm the landlord i was here before you came and you stay here it's not even allowed because he was supposed to go to a different hostel but then the commander just allowed them to stay here so i was like 
and the landlord of this was this room so you don't have to dictate to me how to to to, to stay in my room okay so like the guy was was so excessive if my friends come to visit it will be telling my friends to keep quiet but do you know the most part when these guys are making call god it will be as if they should break down this whole building They'll be shouting at the top of their voice. They'll be shouting at the top of their voice. Like this video now, I had to pause like several times for this guy, like this second roommate, to talk and make his call. So why make a kid is call? He usually shouts and talk, talk, talk. And but then if I want to make my own call, he'd be complaining. Like it was so excessive, like so excessive. But I also thank God that he has left. Seriously, he has left to a different hostel. So I'm just happy that he has left. Then the second guy, that one is very nice. The second Turkmenistan guy is very nice, he's very friendly. That one I could relate with him. It doesn't, it's not from us at all. Like if I thought if I if he brings up his suggestion and I bring a counter suggestion, you understand, like we reason together. Okay. So he doesn't have a problem. He doesn't like to stop. But this is what I have against him. Okay, number one, he smokes. In fact, both of them smoke. So and you know, these are kind of cigarettes here in Russia, man. The way it smells, it smells better than that of Nigeria. Like the Nigerian kind of cigarettes. It just smells bad. Like, once, and the worst part is that, you know, on a normal ground, you're, you're not allowed to smoke in the hostel. If you want to smoke, you go to the back only to smoke. But then, he, go, he uses the bedroom to smoke. And after smoking, like, if he opens the door, everywhere smells badly. Like, so badly. Everywhere smells. So I, I've told him several times that if you want to smoke, you go out. There, there was one day they wanted to smoke here in the room. I told him no. As far as this room is concerned, you are not smoking here. You see that you go outside and smoke or you use the bedroom. Don't come and smoke in this room because it smells badly. I can't take it. Okay? So I told him that. So he smokes. And me, I don't smoke. I don't like the, the, the smell of smoke. So, you know, it's, it's usually un uncomfortable like staying with someone that smokes it's usually not really cool but what can i do i can't i can't tell him to leave the room because he smokes so i just like try to put up with that that's number one then number two when he's making a call man like i don't know whether it, they can't like just like make a call and talk gently like they they shout at the top of their voice of their voices they shout when making a call I'm like the person you're talking to is just your friends, like looking at you. Why shouting? Like, why are you shouting? So, they like, like shout at the top of their voice. I'll be like, God, guy, calm down. Sometimes, if it's making call, I don't like making call because I won't hear what I'm, what the person I'm making a call with is saying. I won't hear because they are always shouting at the top of their voice, which is bad. So, that again is, is, is something about living in a shared accommodation because. You just have to put off with that. I can't take stop. Of course, I can't take stop. So I just wait for him to make his call and you know, do that. Then, <coughs> in terms of cooking, God, their their food again is something else. Their food is something else. Like I don't know these guys from um, you know European Asian countries. Like the way they cook, that kind of food. Actually, I don't understand. So, so I don't know. Like each time he cooks, like the food he cooks, like the smell is not usually good to me. So like I'm literally scared because sometimes if I cook, I'll tell it to come and taste the food I'm cooking. <laughs> you, you get. So when he cooks, he would like want to invite me to taste the food. I'll be like, oh, no, spasiba, thank you. I'm not interested. Like because like the way the food smells, like I feel that if I eat it, I may guess because I'm so that I'm very choosy when it comes to eating foreign foods. I'm I'm not used to eating foreign foods. You get. So before. You know the Russian food. Before I start eating, I start eating Russian food. Oh my god! I it took me a while before I start eating Russian food. So most times, like when he cooks, he will tell me to come and taste. I'll be like, no, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank. You. Like you, you, the guy will be like surprised. He will, he will feel like the guy will feel sad. Actually, I used to see the expression on his face, but then I can't help you. I can't. I can't just like help myself to to eat that food because. Sometimes it doesn't look palatable, okay? So I just tell like, ah, don't worry. I'm like, no, just take one, just try. I'm like, no, 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 I'm fine. So, 
then that is all that they were cooking. So basically, these are just the um, negative parts. Then, in terms of cleaning the room, he doesn't do that. I'm the one that does the cleaning, and uh, sorry, I'm the one that do. Is it do or not? Whichever that do the cleaning and dispose of the waste. So cleaning. I do that and, and another thing is that the guy is just so interested in my personal lifestyle like if I buy something he usually asks me hey how much do you buy this oh you're a big boy that kind of thing when, when I bought my fridge like I bought the fridge for 20,000 so it was like ah how much did I buy this fridge I was like 20 kilos like wow and then the most part if his friends come here we usually tell his friend that hey this guy bought a fridge for 20k when i bought my oven my microwave no, yeah, yeah the oven like i bought the oven for how much did i would buy it for about 3k so you know, like a friend would call him say that ah he bought his oven for 3k and when i bought my phone my new the, the iphone i'm using now like iphone 12 pro max so it was like how much did you buy this phone i was like i told i told him the price I was like oh my god this guy is rich like each time he's making a call, he will usually tell his friends, his family, that hi, his roommate is from Nigeria, he's, he's using iPhone 12 Pro Max, he bought a fridge, he this one. Then his friends will not come and meet me and be asking me, hey, how much did you buy this thing? Hey, how much did you buy that one? Like I find it so annoying actually, I find it uncomfortable, but I, you know, I, I, I just have to let God see take its place, so I only tell them that. I don't like being rude, you know, and online, so I usually like tell them. So that is just the negative part of having like a of, of staying in a shared a shared accommodation, like having roommates. But then to the positive side, the guy is very nice. Like I like him so much. He's he's very hardworking. He works a lot. Most of the time, he's not in the room. He's really outside working. He's ambitious and he usually likes engaging me. Um, usually like engaging me in, in, in conversation so we usually talk usually converse i know talk about different kind of things and stuff like that and again the guy likes sex like this guy they like sex so much like each night you got to be hearing this conversation making calls to 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 make bookings with all these prostitutes and stuff like that there was even one day they asked me that I come and join them <laughs> i was like oh no i'm not interested so Living in a shared apartment, actually, it's, it has its good parts and its um, bad parts. So, the good part is, well, you know, what to have advantage and a disadvantage. And in a place where, where there are two people, there's always a possibility for there to be like a clash of interests and crisis and, you know, flaws. We are human beings, we are not perfect. And so, so living in a shared accommodation is actually nice, but then, there are some people that can't take shit. Everyone that can't take shit, they can't, they can't like stay with people. So they prefer staying on their own and they are living their life. So, but here in my hostel, I, I, I don't think you could actually like stay alone in the room, like just rest in the room for yourself. I don't think you can do that. But there are some hostels that you can, like you can actually rent a whole room all to yourself, just provided you're paying for them. You can just have the room to yourself. You get. That kind of thing so living in a shared apartment is actually nice and it has some flaws and stuff like that but then if you are staying with someone that uh, understands you that you guys speak the same language it will be cool or maybe someone that is your friend it should be cool or someone that's from your country it should be cool but stay with someone from an entirely different country you don't speak the same language you don't even understand yourselves and so it's usually uh, so difficult to adapt and you know there are so many differences and crises even when you're staying with your friend too like crises and differences occur but then you just have to know how to go about it so guys this is just <laughs> i've seen a lot of story here today i don't know whether it was boring or something but then i i feel just i just feel like sharing this like see what it looks like to stay in a, in, in, in a shared apartment with a foreign and so from a different country that's have different culture and different way of life that kind of thing so that is it for today so uh, i hope like this this story is it's not boring to you and you find it uh, interesting to hear and to know what how it is for me 
So uh, with this, I've come to the end of this video. So you can like the video and um, just comment what you feel about. If you are staying in, in a shared accommodation in your country, in your university, in your school, just like tell us what you feel, like what you think about living with a, with 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 someone like having a shared accommodation. Just tell us what you feel about it, so we can all laugh and you know, have fun about it. So till next time, guys. Bye for now. Da, da.